Hi everyone. So today's agenda is learning how to access a map that is sent from Apex in LWC in the easiest possible way. So let's quickly begin. So in order to do this, we first need to create an Apex class. So I've just created an Apex class called get map class. And in that, I've created a method which is annotated with or at the rate aura enabled because without that, we wouldn't be able to access this method in the LWC component. So I have named it as get map method. Now inside it, what I'm going to do is uh, very simply, I would first create a map of string comma string. So let me quickly do that. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put some values in it. And for now, because I want to make it extremely simple for everyone to understand, I'm hard coding the values. So in this map, I have put three uh, key pair, key value pairs. The first one's value is key one, value one, key two, value two, key three, value three, and so on. Okay. Now, the next thing that I need to do is I need to put this map of string comma string within a list. So this is what I've done. I've created a list of map. So the map is of type string comma string. So I've put that inside the list and I've named it as list of map. And here I have new list of map of string comma string. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to add this map that I've created inside this list. So it's as simple as adding this map inside the list of the string, okay? Now, the next thing is, you will notice that uh, we need to send a map to the LWC, right? So why have I not returned the map type as the you know return type of this method? Why is because this is the trick and this is the easiest method that we could use. This someone, uh, I've learned this from one of, the one of my colleagues, so I'm sharing this with you all. So here, instead of returning map, of string comma string or whatever you want, you can return a string. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to serialize it. So I would just say return JSON dot serialize and then I'm going to return the list of map. So let me just save this. Okay. So here we are sorted with the apex thing that we had to do. We have all done it correctly. Now let's go to the LWC component. So here I'm in my LWC component and the name of that LWC component, I've kept it as access map in LWC. Uh, let me go to its meta. What I have said that, this LWC component can be used as an app page, record page, could be called from a quick action or it could be called from a tab, like it could be used in a tab, okay? Now, the first thing that I've done is I've just created a simple lightning card uh, within which, or actually, yeah, okay. I've created a lightning card, okay? And uh, the title of that lightning card is accessing map. Now, all that I'm going to do over here is I am going to create a simple lightning combo box. So let me use the lightning combo box over here. Okay. Now, hmm. so now uh, for this combo box, you need to get its options, right? The options that you need to get for that combo box. So, I want to make this video really simple. So I'm going to hard code the option values also. So what I'll be doing is in the JS, I'm going to say, sorry, this is meta. This is JS, okay. So I would say get and uh, options. I had O small and options. So what I'm going to say is get options and then I'm going to return these three uh, values over here. Key one, I've put the label and value same, okay? But the same thing I've put in the combo box. But the apex that we had, therein what I've done is, the map had the key as key one, value was value one. 
key two, value two, key three, value three, and so on. But over your label and value, both I'm putting key one, key two, key three, and so on. Okay. So this is a simple uh, lightning combo box that we have created. Okay. And let's do one more thing. Uh, so in this combo box, whenever we change the value, right, we call the handle change method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a method called handle change in my JS. So let me go to the JS and here we have the handle change and let's save it. And by the way, the value attribute that we had used over here, you can see this. This I have declared over here, this dot value. Okay. So I'm just saving it. First, let's run this much and I'll show you. And secondly, what I've done is uh, I have created a custom tab. Okay. And in that tab's name is access map. And in this tab, I've used the lightning component that we just created, which is access map in LWC. Now let me go here and just refresh. So you see a combo box now and uh, please don't mind the UI because I'm not going to uh, stretch the video by working on the UI and all. So what I'm doing here is simply just clicking on key one and the value that is selected shows key one. Now let me select key three. So the value that is selected shows key three. Now coming to the point, let's say I want to get the corresponding value of key three from the map that we have passed from apex. So for key three, what had I passed? I had passed value three, right? So I am saying that when I pass this key three, I should be getting that value three of key three from the map string map that we have passed from our apex. So now let's see how to do that. Now for that, what we need to do is, uh, first of all, I need to import that method. So the class name is get map class and get map method. So let me go to the lighting studio and you would see that I've already imported that method, get map method from get map class. Okay. Now I'm going to call this method. So when the value changes, I am going to say, get map i'm going to call it imperatively and here we have the result okay now the next thing that we are going to do is if you remember we had serialized this entire list of map and we were sending it so the first thing that we are going to do is let's console log and check the result Okay, first I'll show you the result. So you see, we have got the entire map in the result, right? But now, the next thing that I got to do is I need to take it in a variable and pass it. So there I had serialized. Now I'm just passing it and keeping it in a variable. The next thing that I'm going to do is I, first of all, you see here that it is inside a square bracket and then we have the curly braces, right? Now, once I do this, now let me print the RES. Let me stringify it. Okay. 
Okay, now let's check this out. You see, we've got the result also. But now let's say for key three, I wanted value three. So how could I get it? Sorry, hold on, my battery is low. Okay, yeah. So now the next step is that we want that value, right? So, or let's say actually, what did I do? Wait, sorry. Uh, so, what I wanted to do here rather was RES of 0, actually, I'm sorry. Okay, so I wanted to find out what do we get in RES of 0, 0th index, okay? So, let me go here and... So here you see, now earlier in the result, we had this square bracket, but now in the result of zero, I get this entire thing. So it's not like I'm getting key value and all that. It is returning as a list. And in the zeroth index of that list, I have this entire list, okay? Now let's suppose I want value of key three. So now what do I have to do is, first let me declare global variables, map where, and let me make it this way. And uh, the next thing that I'm going to say is map value. That is going to be a plain, simple value, okay? Not a list kind of a thing. So now, first what I'm going to do is, I'm going to store this result of zero in my map where. Okay, so, so here we are done. Now comes the final step. Now I want to get the key three. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to say or let me rather say This dot map value equals this dot map variable now which value do we want to get whatever we got in this value I want to get the value of that key so here if I have selected key one it would be this dot map where of key one. If I'd selected key two, it would be this dot map where of key two. If key three, then this dot map where of key three. And let me console it over here. Also, Thing. I'll display that value over here as well. I don't need to put a this. Okay. 
Okay, so we are done. Now let's refresh it and I'll show you the result. So that's it. For key three, we got value two. For key two, we got value two. For key one, we got value one. So that is how you access a map very easily in your LWC. If this video helped, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Share to as many people as you could and please subscribe and please hit the like button and do hit the bell notification as well so you keep getting the updates. Thank you. Bye.